Hello class, our today's topic is factorization using Middleton break. That is if we have a quadratic equation like this ax squared plus bx plus c, then how we are going to do the Middleton break so that we can factorize it. We are going to apply Middleton break, that is, we are going to split the b into two numbers, let's say m and n. Now we have to follow the two conditions which are that these two numbers must be summed up to b and their product must be a and c and after that we will factorize using grouping so b is 5 and the product of a c is 6 now the sum of the two numbers m plus n should be 5 and the product should be 6 which is a positive number this means that the two numbers which we want to add, they should have the same sign. Now these are the factors of 6, 2, 3 and 1. Now we are going to split them into two groups. Let's say first group contains 2, the second group contains 3 and 1. So the first number is 2m and the second number is 3 which is n. Now let's see whether the condition is fulfilled or not. m plus n is 5 mn is 6 which means we can factorize so we can write 5x as 2x plus 3x so m is 2 and n is 3 and take common from the last two and then finally we have our required factorization let's take another example now instead of plus now this time we have minus 5x now this time 2 and 3 but we will attach negative sign so that the sum is minus 5 instead of plus 5 like in the previous example so again by using the grouping method we have our factors so it means that no two numbers which we will use they should have the different signs now let's group them first group contains 2 and second contains 3 and 1 so m is 2 c and n is 3 and when we add them we get minus 5 we change the signs and the product is 6 so this is not the right grouping we have to rearrange we have to think something else this is not the right choice now let's consider again conditions are the same now let's group them differently 2 into 3 in the first group 1 in the second group so the m is 6 and n is 1 and as mn is negative so it means we have to subtract so that the answer is minus 5 so it means we have to attach a negative with 6 now let's apply our condition m plus n is minus 5 and mn is minus 6 so yes now we can factorize substitute the values m is minus 6 n is 1 again one more example here this time b is minus 11 and the product of ac is 28 now m plus n should be minus 11 and m n should be 28 positive it means the two numbers should have the same sign now let's group them uh, first of all we have taken the group of the first three and the last one so the first m is 28 and n is 1 but this is not fulfilling our condition m plus n should be minus 11 so this is not the right choice let's consider another choice another grouping another possibility so we are going to group them 2 and 2 is 1. So the m is 2 and n is 14. When we add them, we get 16 and product is obviously 28. But again, this is not the right choice. Now let's group them 2 into 2 and 7 into 1. So m is 4 and n is 7. So by adding these two, we get 11 and the product is 28. But we must have minus 11. So it means we will attach negative with both 4 and 7. So m plus n is minus 11 and m n is 28. Yes, this is the right choice. So now let's factorize with the help of this. Minus 4, minus 7. By grouping, we have our answer. Another example. Using the same method, grouping, taking common, we have our answers. Thanks for watching and keep coming back to this channel.